Alright. That's unlocked now. And that was basically the extent of this room. Alright, fine, I'll fight you, jeez. Weird call out post, but okay. Also, fun fact, you can actually just jump up this uh, glass wall to get up here rather than just using the elevator. Oh, I thought I was holding down during that. Oh boy, now there are two of them. That's one down. Two down. Sick. And another one. You gonna say, you gonna try to get to me or what? Uh-oh. I don't need to be down here. Blah. Blah. Blah, 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 blah. These guys are a little bit more relentless. If they start swarming you, better hope to God you get a moment to breathe. Ah! Look, I just picked up a charm. Leave me alone. Hi, friend. Bye, friend. The folly and the mistake. The results of experimentation with soul, it looks like. Let's have a look at the, uh... Spell Twister. I believe it just costs less to cast spells. Yeah. Speaking of soul. Uh oh. What's that in the distance? Why, it can be no other than. The Soul Master! Here he comes. So he uses a couple of physical moves at his disposal, including the charging one. Then there's, of course, the projectile attack. There he goes, he charges. But he sure loves to teleport, too, so... Make sure to be careful, and if you need some extra height, always bounce off him. He also does that dive bomb attack, which will always send uh, shockwaves at you, I believe. Whenever he's like that, he's stunned, so hit him with a strong attack and you're good. He'll also run at you with uh, those four balls of plasma, and then he'll send them right back the way they came. <laughs> Best way of handling this, from what I've seen, is just jump between one of them, and then once he sends them back, dash underneath them. Oh man! I don't think I can reach him from here. Yeah, couldn't punish him. And they get another shot off. There we go. And that's it. That was very easy. All right, well, you know what they say about giant floating things that are glowing. Jump into them. Psych. He's not dead yet. We still got another phase. At this point, the dive bombs that he does will not uh, will not cause the shockwaves, like the lingering shockwaves. 
So at this point, now he's just going to sit around for a little bit, giving you enough time to hit him or heal, depending on whatever floats your boat at the time. And there we go. Now he's dead for real. And out from his corpse comes the real giant glowy floaty thing. We have a new spell, the Desolate Dive. Tap the special attack button while holding down to strike the earth with a burst of power. Spells will deplete soul, replenish soul by striking enemies. So we have a ground pound now. And as with the Vengeful Spirit, the, the dive will also cost some soul to use. Before actually using it though, I'm gonna keep exploring around here for a little bit. Because, ta-da, money. Also, if you listen closely, there's a little clattering noise that's usually indicative of, a, of shaking ground, or at least unstable ground. Use the desolate dive, and there you go. Record Senda. Spare thought for those consumed. Through their grace we are evolved. No plague of mine shall overcome us now. I must have missed a different record, or at least I assume I did, because the first one we found started with the letter A, this one started with the letter C. So maybe I'm missing the one that started with the letter B. Either way, down we go! Here come the mistakes and the follies. I unlocked something just then. So, like with the Spellmaster, or the Soulmaster, if you use the Desolate Dive around something, then you'll still cause shockwaves. And uh, those can be good for getting out of tight jam, because I think you actually have invincibility frames during the, the dive itself. So you don't get hurt by anything. Sorry, Grub, you actually can't stop the dive once you get through it, or once you start it, so I'm gonna need to come back to you in a second. Man, those follies are moving faster than I remember. Whoops. Hi, buddy. Oh. He saw me on the dash. Turns out the dash is not that stealthy. There's the Soul Master right there. Big Soul Tower. There we go. Soul Statue, whatever. Whatever I've been calling it. Come on and slam! And I think that's that puts us back to the beginning of the Soul Sanctum. This all looks familiar. High mistake. Alright, let's go hang out with Cornifer. Because there is a bench right next to him. Oh, never mind. We finished the boss of the chapter, so, or sorry, of the world, so he's gone and he is leaving a note behind. Well, let's have a look. We did not miss anything in the Soul Sanctum, it looks like. So we are good to move on with the Desolate Dive. Is it over here? No, it is over here. Yes. No. Here. 
Okay, yeah, this is the hallway I was thinking of that we couldn't actually move too far past. When we go, when we went to meet Zote, I thought that was the hallway I was thinking of where we needed to come back at a later point, or at least loop around in order to, uh, whoops, in order to get through that hallway. But no, that hallway I just saw is that one. Nope, other way. I'll stop in and sell a few more of my th items. Velmi Arctic. Wondrous journal. Yes, yes, I'll add it to the pile with the others. I don't know when I'll get to decipher this one. It's long, hard work translating the many languages of the bugs that explore these caverns. Velmi Arctic. Velmi Arctic. Helena Seal, eh? Give it here. Do you have anything else for me? If not, get your damp little self out of my home. Helma Delker. Alright, um... Right, open that. Probably important. A mechanism with a simple keyhole. So we can use our simple key on that. But we're not gonna go into it just yet. Again, we meet, little ghost. I'm normally quite perceptive. You, I underestimated, though I've since guessed the truth. You've seen beyond this kingdom's bounds. Yours is resilience born of two voids. It's no surprise, then, that you've managed to reach the heart of this world. In so doing, you shall know the sacrifice that keeps it standing. If, knowing the truth, you'd still attempt to roll in Helena's perpetuation, seek the grave in ash and the mark it would grant to one like you. Memorial to the Hollow Knight. In the Black Vault far above, through its sacrifice, Hollow Nest lasts eternal. Alright, so if we look at our map and back at the Forgotten Crossroads, that is the Hollow Knight's uh, hideout at the Black Egg Temple. But as for the City of Tears, there's really not much else we can do, I don't think. Right now, I'm debating whether or not I actually want to go down into here right now, or if I want to go to a different area. We have three available to us. And when I say area, I of course mean world. There's the world down here, there is the crystal world, then there is the dark and spooky world. And I'm not sure which one I want to do first, but I definitely know which power-ups I want. Each one of them will house at least one power-up. Or at least one you know, important thing to attend to. And if I'm being honest, even though this is right here, I kind of want to go do the, the crystals area first. But I'll, I'll meditate on it. By which I mean, I'll sleep on it. By which I mean, I'm going to head back to the, uh, the station. And from there, I will head back to Dirtmouth, check in with the shop keeps, and then call it for the recording session, because I've been going for a while. <sighs> Alright, back in Dirtmouth. And actually, before uh, checking out everything here, I'm going to briefly jump back into the crossroads and address that if you listen very closely at this entrance, you can hear kind of a shimmer. And you can actually jump up here, and there is a hollow nest seal just chilling out up there. So you don't need to climb back up. You can just jump back up. Anyway, 
if we enter into here, the girl we saved is here, and she actually has a mask shard waiting for us. She also has a plush of the night. The white savior, the maiden woke in darkness. Confused, she reached out. Sharp brambles jabbed at all sides. Burning acid bubbled close below. What nightmare had led her here? What hope of survival remained? Doomed she thought herself, and to despair she fell until a light bloomed far in the distance. A bright, glowing spot, fast approaching. It swept majestic about the thorns, leapt above burning waters, and dove towards the maiden. Coming close, the form revealed at last. A beautiful being, sharp horns gleaming white. Arms reached out for the damsel, gri gra eh, gathering her up, grip firm. Well, she's writing her own fan fiction of the night. She is infatuated. Ah, <sighs> I'm gonna grab some more markers. There we go. And the other pins I'm not too worried about right now. A young couple's just recently taken up residence in the house beside the station. Seems they're running up a map shop, which may excite adventurous types like yourself. She's a tall bug, the wife. I told them to take a larger house, especially given they're all empty, but they like the look of that one. The way she has to bend just to get through the door, I wouldn't put up with it myself. Sly, what you got? I can get another simple key. Make up for the one I, I used already. Yeah, I'll do that. I've got the Geo. Get another Mask Shard. Three out of four. Pantomas, Geo. And the next one costs, costs 500, so... I don't know if I want to spend it just now. I said I had the Geo, but... Eh. Not feeling right now. Either way. Next time I will have decided where I would like to go next. Let me just pinpoint exactly where I am thinking, so... Over around this direction is option A. Down here is option B. And over here is option C. I'm tempted to go with option A myself. So, chances are we're going to be going to the crystal world next time. But until then, thanks for watching.